I'm not blaming Moody for this. Was he bad? Yeah, he was real bad. The first kick, not really on him. That's, again, the offense. That was terrible. Back-to-back negative plays. You were on the 26th after the Fred Warner interception, and you get nothing. Back-to-back negative plays. And then, yeah, oh, man, that, that one pisses me off more than anything. And so you missed it. You, you missed the field goal. 54 yards, not on him. The 41-yard field goal's on him. And I don't know if you guys saw the locker room interview. I think it was Tracy Sandler, um, who does a good job. Man, he was tore up. Now, I put out there, this does not make me feel more confident in a rookie kicker. And perhaps, you know, some people were upset by what I said. That's okay. I, I don't mind upsetting people. That's not the goal. And somebody said something about, like, Bosa was crying after the Super Bowl. You weren't upset. Like, it's different. Yeah, I, I get emotionally charged with games whenever I coach and whenever I play. That's just the way that it goes. But as a kicker, you got to be a little different. A kicker that handles pressure, it has shown, missed several somewhat pressure situations in the preseason. Whenever he was free, whenever they froze him, they called timeout beforehand. They do the same thing here. You know, they call the timeout. And or we froze ourselves, I guess, because we are the ones that called the timeout to stop the clock. Pressure is a big deal to him. I understand his family was there. I understand he missed the game winning kick, and I want him to be broken up about it. I don't want him to be all Jimmy G smiles and doesn't give a damn if his team wins or loses. I don't like that. But kickers got to have goldfish mentality. Yeah, kickers, you you wipe it clean and you move on. This dude looked like he was crying about it. You know, an hour after the game was over. Now, maybe that's just the way he processes things, but I'm saying from a head coach, hey, kicker, you got to let that shit go. You cannot hold on to that. That is going to carry over to your next pressure situation and just adds to the pressure. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, that worried me, um, which, again, kickers are a whole different breed of humans, and I don't mean this in a negative way. It's mental. It's all mental. It's a golf swing. It's mental, right? Like, it, like that's that's the difference. It's not reactionary. It's just, it's all upstairs. Jake Moody has all the talent in the world. His only issue, brain bucket head, right? And so the over-emotional part to it scares me. I'm just being honest. Doesn't mean that he's not going to be great. I hope he is great. Did I like the Jake Moody pick? I hated it more than anybody else in the world. I thought it was stupid. And I still think it's stupid, but it doesn't matter. He's on the team, and I want him to be awesome. And he has been awesome up until the first time he had pressure. And the first time he had pressure, laid an egg. That's just what it is. DJ Super, what's up, man? He says, Moody had all his family there talk about pressure. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Um, And, like, I want what's best for the kid, but I'm just saying it's a little bit of a red flag that he was – not that hung up about it. I want him to be hung up about it, but yeah, you you got to go. And I and I thought about cutting the clip, but I didn't want to because I didn't like it. I didn't like the clip. <laughs> I, just, I just didn't like it. Um, right here, Sid says, you know, we need another kicker until he's more acclimated. Man, you spent the highest pick in the past decade, the second highest pick in the past decade on a kicker. You got to roll with this cat. And Robbie Gold's still out there on the couch somewhere. I don't want him. I don't want that dude. I don't think you carry two kickers. I mean, that just kills the Robbie Gold ain't coming back for a vet minimum anyway. Yeah, right there, the new, yeah, DB mentality. That's exactly correct. And so you take it and you move on. You take it and you move on. And so I hope Jake Moody gets an opportunity. He's going to. There's going to be close games in the NFL, ladies and gents. At some point, you got to answer that call. He's missed one. You know what I mean? Well, he missed the 54-yarder. That's not on him. I really don't put that on him at all. Um, and right here, uh, the team having his back will go a long way. He'll be fine. I love that, Dave. Uh, I, I think that's huge. Um, and right here, I think this is the right clip, and I'm sorry if I played the wrong one. Shout out to Juan Salas. He, he crushed it. This is Fred Warner talking about you know, how he would not put the loss. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's a young player, man. He's a, he's a rookie, and uh... – He's going to have so many other opportunities to to help us win games. And so, I, I, like I said, I would never put that on him to say that, you know, that we lost this game because of him. I say I always look to myself first to see what I could have did better. And defensively as a group, when we give up over 300 yards offense, like I said, you, that's hard to win in this league. There you go, man. Don't put it on him. The team's not. I love what you said, David. 
Um, Sean, totally disagree, John. Kicker misses are not okay. Do it again when we need it, and that's two losses because of kickers. Uh, you cut that out ASAP. Yeah, I mean, kickers suck. And you can go back to, you know, Robbie Gold. I saw this put up. He missed a 40, what he missed, a 47-yard field goal last year that cost us a game early. And I forget which game it was. I could go back and research it, but... Like this is kickers suck, man. <laughs> I, I hate that games are so pivotal to you know how this goes. It's it's that's the way the NFL is. Now, if we look at again, I, I'm kind of doing this on the fly here. The highest percentage kicker, where is he at right now? Jake Moody is 21st after missing two. He has an 83.3 percent kick rate. He's 21st in the NFL. You have six kickers. Well, he hasn't even played in that many games, so I want to make sure. Yeah, you got six kickers that haven't missed a kick yet. We don't have a top six kicker. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to say that. But, yeah, he's 22nd. and that That's not good. That is not good. 41 yards is a chip shot for an NFL kicker. I agree. 37 would have been better, though. 37 would have been better. And we missed that opportunity to give that to him. Would he have made it? I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, he's sitting there, you know, 83%. What was – okay, here we go. Let's go previous season. Let, let's play this game. We want to play this game. Where was Robbie Gold last year? Robbie Gold was 84.4% on the year, the 20th best kicker. Robbie Gold wanted $5 million. And not do kickoffs. So we are, what is that, 1% lower? <laughs> yeah, 84% to 83%. They're the same damn guy. Would Robbie Gold have made that? Yes. Would Robbie Gold have made the 54-yarder? Hell no. They wouldn't even have attempted it. Probably would have been better off if they did it. And so, yeah, I don't know, man. That that's should have been made. Should have been made. You move forward. We'll see. But the pressure just jumped up for Jake Moody. Moving forward. Next time the game's close, everybody's just going to be like, all right, all right, all right, including him. We'll see what happens. The 49ers Rush Podcast.